Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris and I'm in Dallas right now. I haven't been vlogging because I've been ripping and running on the go, handling stuff in my studio, but I did go shoot a podcast with my boys over at Private Selection and I'll show you guys some behind the scenes of that right after this intro. But I'm here for SneakerCon and I'm here to pick up some sneakers. Speaking of sneakers, my boys are known for the early birds and your boy got the lost and found um, Chicago ones basically. The reimagined is what they were called at first, and then I got informed they are called the Lost and Found. So that's what I'm going to be rocking at Sneaker Con, so I can have the early bird special and make sure I got some heat on feet. But yeah, we're just going to be going to Sneaker Con. This is basically just going to be a quick little travel vlog. I might get a chance to go by my studio and show you guys the renovations and stuff that are happening tomorrow before I fly out. But yeah, let's get ready, go grab some breakfast, and then head over to Sneaker Con. Well, we have made it to Tejas. Say hello to the camera. What's up, man? Say hello. What up? To one of the newest team members. We're glad to see him here. I know what it you is. What's good, Scotty baby? Scotty Too Hotty. Yo, what's pop? What's what, pop? what they call you? The chef. Of what you got on the feet? You know, he see it. It's okay, though. Don't look at his too hard. <laughs> <laughs> they go mine. Chef be whipping it ambidextrously, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we're about to shoot this little, little podcast. Y'all know I like to talk shit anyway, so this is a great, great little platform. To do it on. If you don't follow, what do you say? You're gonna talk a lot of shit. Oh, for sure. If you don't follow the boys on Instagram, make sure you check out Private Selection. They have all the early bird shit. People try to call all this shit fake, but it's never fake. You want to catch them slipping, but you're not. You see the Travis Scott right here, the full lineup. As uh, Ian said, they've never been pictured before. The first time was on their podcast, or I think it was on Ian's actual Instagram. Hold. Introduce yourself, Mr. Late. What's up? What they call you? Full late Larry. Full late Larry. You know That's he got right. a full fit on. That's right. Hey, it's good. It's good to see. It's good to see the come up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. So we're about to shoot this. I'll probably set up a little camera and show you a little BTS. But let's get to it. By uh, photography equipment and all the mm. stuff that I actually needed yeah. at the time, and network in other places. So I went to Miami. Um, I think I went to Atlanta. I went to a bunch of different places and network with different creatives and stuff and started expanding my brand because on Instagram at the time, it was all about All right, so let's run down the full fit. Up top, we got the Humfem Private Selection and Sneaker Con collab that's dropping today. So I got this early down low, we got the John Elliott mesh shorts, and then of course the kicks, the reimagined or lost and found Jordan 1 in the Chicago colorway, David Yerman accessories, Rolex Submariner, and then my Tom uh, Tom Brown shades that I usually wear all the time, and probably just gonna throw on my Louis V cross bag to carry all my stuff in. I'm gonna bring my vlog camera along with me. Unfortunately, the mic doesn't work with this one. It's not compatible, so I'll have to get a different one, which is weird because it's a Sony mic. I think all Sony mics should just go with all, you know, Sony equipment, but that is what it is. I'm about to go downstairs to grab some breakfast because got to meet up with the boys at 10.30. It's now 9.12, and yeah, just go downstairs, grab some pancakes, probably some bacon that I shouldn't be eating, grab me a nice little coffee, and get this day started. Got me out here. What's good, y'all? Welcome to his land, because you know I don't show up to shit like this. Yo, it's a private selection. We at SneakerCon Dallas. Where we're from, Dallas. We about to show y'all how we do things in the city. So I got the one of one. I got the one of one. My boy Jonathan made this out of a real Skittles wrapper from Supreme, and then he ironed it on there. So it's waterproof. You can wash it and everything. What's up? What's good? What's good? You can move it though. What's good? Say what's up, Jay Barter. What's good? I'm uh, playing right here. You trying to sell me a 50. You sold like four or five times in the same day, though. I'm going to let it slide. What you got set up over here? All right, we got the new Hompfam Private Selection Sneaker Con Tees. You can Bet. see I'm wearing see it. back. Lone Star State. Lone Star State, baby. Fire. Yeah, we got the cream, black, white, okay, so and the black hoodie. 
Yeah, black hoodie is what I got on. Help them, you know, put together a couple of the shirts. Small, medium, large packs. So, you know, I got this as my former reward. Lil's ain't do shit. Man, Scotty, let them know that I, I helped you, you know, stack a couple shirts for this. Exactly, you gotta speak a little louder so they can hear. See, eBay invited me, but they told me I couldn't come in till like 12 o'clock. I wasn't trying to wait on that, but I'm gonna go around and show a couple different things. So I just went over there and I didn't have my camera. I picked up a shoe. I wasn't planning on picking up anything cause you know, I got the heat on feet. And yeah, 180 for these, some light. But shout out him for taking care of me on that. But I'll probably pick up, what? I picked 180 yeah, Scott for mine. Yeah, these, these are those. clean. I don't I need no hype shit. I'm turning into a dad. I got a size <laughs> nine though, cause there's not a lot of padding. So it didn't hurt my feet. Oh, so I went down. Um, they only had it in a half size smaller. I'm a and a half. But they're not like cushioned and packed, so. He had the other color too. They're really they heavy and stiff though. I heard that it takes a lot to break them in. Huh? I'm gonna break these in. But I like the colorway, super dope. And uh, yeah, this is the first pick of the pickup of the day, and I'm gonna try to get some of those um, those Crocs. This fool about to go in. I already know it. No, I'm not. I'm probably gonna spend. I have 180. I'm maxing out 300. All right, just picked up the Union Twos, dope colorway. Bless out to Instagram. Yes, sir. Another shoe page. Come peep us out. We can get whatever you need under market. Nine Bend times that. out of ten. Appreciate it, man. Bro, you already know. Good Thank pickup. you. Second pickup of the day. Union Twos. Picked them up from a, another sneaker page. Got them for 250. So we're up to what? I think three. No, for like 400 that I spent so far. Attention. Nobody passed my limit. Attention. And this motherfucker is gonna tell everybody they're gonna get towed. So we're about to do a little top three early bird selection with private selection. And uh, yeah, we'll just shoot a little bit of BTS. All right, I'm Carlos Harris. I'm here with Private Selection. I'm gonna be running through my top two early birds and then my least favorite. So we're gonna start with the, what is this? The Reimagined or Lost and Found Jordan 1. Jordan 1 silhouette is always dope. It's my favorite. And then we got a Jordan 2 right here. Don't know the name of it, but the colorway is dope because of the tonal colors and I like tonal stuff. And lastly, the trash issue of all, this Travis Scott, I don't know, Phantom I think it's called, it looks like a pair of true religions and it should never drop. Solid price. Really love the tones on these. Materials, suede on the front. Nice little mesh. And yeah. it was a good cash out. All right. It's day two of Sneaker Con. I'm up early because I have to go to my studio to talk to the contractor about the other walls and stuff that we want to put in there um, to get him started on that. And then just going over all the stuff that he previously completed. Um, it is 7.08 in the morning. Oh, shout out this new case I got from um, Big A Customs. Hopefully that focuses. But if it doesn't, I'll do another little clip. But shout out to him. Um, what's really cool about him is I bought my first item from him when I went to SneakerCon the first time. And then I stopped by and showed love and supported him again too. Really cool dude. But um, yeah, I bought a whole bunch of shoes. And I don't really know if all of these are going to fit inside of my bag. So if not... I'm gonna have to ship them back to New Jersey. And yeah, going into day two, I'm probably not gonna buy anything. I'm probably just gonna be chilling, hanging out. But um, it's been fun to be down here in Dallas. And one, like all the support and love like that I got at a sneaker event. And I'm really not into like the fashion world too much anymore, even though 
that's originally where I started. Like the love that I got there was like amazing. And it's cool to see that like in person because you know, online it's just comments and stuff, but people coming up to you and being like, yo, like you inspire me, you've changed my life and stuff like that. And then people are coming to my TED talk. It's like really amazing to be honest. And I was talking to my boy Scotty about it when we were coming back um, on the drive here. It's just like the impact that you have, like you never know like how you're changing someone's life. Um, but it's just really cool. And I wanted to share that with you guys. But this trip has been really fun. It's been busy. I've been on the go. I honestly haven't gotten to touch base with everybody that I wanted to. But I'll make sure I'll touch base with them when I get back. But yeah, today's going to be a day where I'm going to do some work um, for my business, but also going to have fun with my friends. My boy Oliver is going to come with me today at, um, at SneakerCon Day 2 to do some filming. I wish I would have had him yesterday, but I still got some cool stuff. But yeah, um, I'm about to pack up my shit. Coffee on him? Man, let me get a sip. Hey man, you don't like that, boy. You don't, you don't want to make me go back home and be a barista. Don't play with me. I got, Nigga, I got this is an espresso. espresso. I got the espresso cold. Actually, I'm going to drink the rest of the, this. No, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's my day. I got your rug, bro. I'm taking it. <laughs> well, we at the studio. You going to shoot low or you going to shoot high? You I, need, love it. I need eye level, nigga. I'm already short. That's how I make you look tall. Yeah, this nigga here. All right, so I made it over to the studio. We're getting some renovations done. As you can see over here, it's our regular little setup. Besides this little, you know, mess we got going on, we're getting the moss wall installed. Shout out to my boy Energy Gardens, getting this done for me. This is preserved moss because I think somebody said something about health issues with it. It's preserved, and I don't really think it's going to cause any issues, or he wouldn't be making it. We gotta hang up these photos right here. The boy Oliver behind the camera was supposed to get it done for you, boy, but you know he been booked and busy. So we're gonna hang those up today. But the front's coming along. Um, back here, we're about to make some changes. We're about to make another like box right here that you can see over here. So we're gonna box this in and minimize the installations. And over here, we're going to cut this in half and make a smaller installation and extend this over here to make like an open studio because the open studio can be used while the enclosed studio can be used as well. That way people can shoot at the same time. I strayed away from doing that because I thought customer service would be lacking, but I don't really think people will have an issue with that. So we're going to be removing these computers and adding a vanity mirror. So when people do like makeup, and all that stuff, they can do it here because it's been a couple of times where people have asked and we don't have it. And over here, we're gonna clear this out and add like a changing room. That way we don't have to have our little mobile pop-up changing room that nobody uses anyways, or going back to the bathroom where um, it's too small to change inside there. And then my boy Javier just finished the drywall inside here. It had to get replaced because we had water damage leaking from the roof and I already told y'all that my landlord was just basically being a dickhead about that and not communicating. But he got us right, um, finished this up for us. He's gonna paint it for us to get it nice and right. Got the, um, I guess the trim done too. And yeah, that's basically the updates that we're gonna be doing to this studio. And then at the back, we're gonna run the, um, I don't know, luxury vinyl over the top of that tile back there because it's a little bit outdated. We replaced the toilet too, and the dude let us know that the toilet needed to be replaced anyways. So we got that done, and I think we'll probably be finished in the next like three to four weeks um, if everything goes according to plan and then relaunch the studio with basically like another grand opening, and I think it'll do well. But yeah, that's a little update. We're about to hang up these pictures, then I'm gonna take my ass to sneaker con. I ain't buying nothing because my bag won't fit shit. I gotta ship some of my stuff home. And yeah, that's basically some updates on what we got going on here in Dallas. And if you're down here, pull up on us. Nep Studios, 3404 Main Street. And if you're trying to come here to see me, I'm never here. Peace. Nothing things up. Clean. Then we're gonna put, we're putting a neon sign in the middle of this whenever it's done. So I'll back up and let you guys see. So it'll be a full moss wall and I'll have a neon 
basically nap sign that you see right there in the middle. And yeah, it's coming along. Definitely coming along. Well, sneaker con day two. Already started off with some bullshit over there, but that's how life goes. I'll try to sell these for my dad so I can get him a little Tom Sachs shit. He wants them in the yellow and I think white colorway. See if we can get some cash for these and then try to get started before everybody gets in here. I would honestly, I'd want to be somewhere around like 280. You do three? 290? You do three? It's 10 bucks. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. Do you prefer cash, sell, Apple Pay? Uh, anyone works, because I'm about to literally just go spend it. Whatever's best for you. Is that play cool? Yeah. Got it. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, so let's go try to find these uh, Tom Sachs now. Yeah. What's up, man? You on uh, Instagram and stuff, right? Yeah. Nice to I, meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Dean. You yeah. selling sneakers here? Yeah, no. Nah, uh, nah, I mean, I'm just, I live out here from, from Dallas. Are you from Dallas? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I moved from here, what, two and a half years ago? Like yeah. two and a half? Yeah, two okay, and a half years okay. ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, I man, I'm trying to do my Instagram, social media thing, bro. I like your edits. I was like, man, let me try to see, like, how you, you know, be doing. I mean, shit, to be honest, it's really simple. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff I do on my phone, like that apartment video I just did yeah. um, on my Instagram, it's yeah. all on my tripod, all just basic slow zooms and stuff on CapCut. Gotcha. You can add the text on there. Just shoot me a DM real quick. All right, for Actually, sure. um, I'll send you some of my new backgrounds. Bet, man, because like, I'm the, yeah, man, I support those. It's all so. good, man. Have a good one. No doubt. Yeah, only my wife. 11 women? Yeah, nine and a half men. Okay, bet. Just um, trying on how much for these? Nah, no, I got a pair. I'm getting a pair for my dad. 170. 170? That's cool. Let's run it. You got the white ones too? No? No, I don't. It's all good. You want to uh, Apple Pay? Yeah, Apple Pay is cool. Okay, cool. Take care of you right now. Yeah, once you take it off, you can do it. You can get eight times eight for sure. Alright, Boom. Ooh, I got it. Cool, cool. Tag? Carlos D. Harris Jr. Show me black and white logo. There you go. Thank you guys, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. you chopping with me. Yeah, you too. I am a Hebrew. Alright, these are secured. I'm going to go try to find the white ones. Alright, thank you, bro. Alright. Um, did you get my message on the Chicago? Yeah, it takes you back. Oh, you did? I've been yeah. asleep. I've been asleep. Uh, Alright. Alright. Alright, love you. Alright, love you too. So these are the worst shoe possible to ever be dropped by Travis Scott. They look like true religions, like I said, on the real. The best shoe over here is obviously Lost and Founds. Warm yesterday, fire. And then I also do like the, uh, the twos, tonal look. Not a big fan of the pink accent or whatever, salmon accent, but they're fire. And these, Always be a go-to. I think twos are slept on. Probably making a little comeback. These are fire. And just as a honorable mention, these are cool. A little colorful vibe, giving Easter. I probably wouldn't buy them, but they're a cool shoe. But yeah, let's go try to find this uh, second pair of Tom Sacks. I just finished up here at SneakerCon. I didn't record too much today. Didn't do any pickups besides the pickups that I did for my dad. And I'm about to head back home at like 4.45. Get back home at like nine o'clock. And I got a presentation I need to work on and a couple of emails I need to catch up on in the meantime while I'm sitting here at the airport. I think I got like, got like an hour before I board, which this is the longest I've ever had to sit at the airport because I low key just show up before the flight even takes off. So I'm about to knock out some of that, but overall the trip was solid. I got a lot of stuff done that I needed to get done. Knocked out the podcast, checked on the renovations at the studio, and then started the other stuff that we needed to start. So overall, great trip. I'm probably gonna go home and do an unboxing on all the sneakers that I picked up. I had to leave a pair here though, um, the Crocs that I picked up. So I'll probably touch on those a little bit later if you can't hear the audio at the actual sneaker con. So yeah, overall, great trip. If I have anything else to record after this, I'll add it to the vlog, but I'm just gonna close it out here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.